Hi, today we are going to understand the geometrical explanation of A minus B whole cube. So what is A minus B whole cube? A minus B whole cube is actually the volume of a cube whose one side is equal to A minus B, right? So this we have to represent in terms of A and B. So first I'm going to take a cube whose each edge is equal to A. So let me take one cube. So here we have a cube. As I already told you, each side of this cube is equal to A. That means this much is equal to A. Its height is also equal to A, right? And this dimension is also equal to A, right? And now what we have to find? We have to find the cube of A minus B, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a length equal to B over here, right? And the next thing I'll do is I'll chop this cube off along with these lines so that this is B, this is also B and this is also B, right? So it will look something like this, right? Where this width, the width of this slab is actually equal to B. This much is B, right? And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark like this where this is equal to B, right? Yes. So what we are getting by doing this? Yes, here we have got a length A minus B. The total was A and I'm removing this B from here. So I'll get A minus B over here and I'll get A minus B over here also, right? So this thing, this thing will actually be a cuboid whose one face is a minus b by a minus b square but its height will be equal to a isn't it this will be if i chop these two sections off i'll be left with a cuboid which will have a square face of dimension a minus b by a minus b and its height will be a right yes so to get a cube of dimension a minus b I have to cut it like this where this is also equal to b so what I have to do I have to remove one more slab horizontally like this where this will be b or you can say a slab whose height will be or the thickness will be b Right? Then we will be left with a cube of dimension A minus B. Right? So let me replace all these markings with straight lines so that our understanding will be easy. So our new drawing will look something like this. Right? We have done our markings. Now we know from where we have to remove pieces. Now what I am going to do is I am going to remove all these pieces one by one. And then let's see what we get. So let me erase this diagram. I don't need it anymore. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut along with this marking, this bottom marking, bottom white marking, I'm going to cut. So let's see what we get. So if I cut along with that white marking, the bottom white marking, I'm going to get two cuboids like this. The top one will look something like this, right? It has height as A minus B, right? because B out of that A is over here, right? And what can you say about these dimensions? This top face. Top face is still a square of dimension A by A, right? This is also A and this is also A. This is the cube which is of the dimension A minus B whole cube, right? So to find that, we have to remove these two slabs also. So now let me erase this drawing, this original A cube, because these two cuboids are actually made from this original cube. So 
Now, since we have got these two cubes, I am removing this original cube. So these two are the parts of that original cube of dimension A cube, right? And now what we have to do, we have to cut them apart and see how many parts we get. So if I cut this cuboid along with these white lines, we are going to get four pieces like this, right? So we'll get these four pieces. What can we say about their dimensions? Yes, this is a cuboid whose face is a square of a minus b by a minus b right and its height is b right and this is a cuboid whose dimensions are this is a minus b right and this is b and height is also b right and this is a cube of dimension b by b by b right and this is a cuboid of dimension this is a minus b and it has a face of b by b right yes so we have got these four pieces and if I cut this cuboid let's see what we get so after cutting this bigger cuboid along with these white lines which I have drawn over here, these lines and this line, we are going to get these four portions where if we talk about this portion, it is actually a cube of dimension A minus B, right? A minus B and this all work we have done to find only this cube. What is this? This is a cube of dimension a minus b by a minus b by a minus b, right? So what will be its volume? Its volume will be a minus b whole cube, right? And we have got these three more cuboids where this is the cuboid of dimension. This is a minus b and this is a minus b, right? and it has a thickness of b right yes it is very similar to this cuboid this cuboid and this cuboid are very similar and similarly this cuboid also has dimension a minus b by a minus b and it also has thickness as b right so these three cuboids have a square face of dimension a minus b by a minus b and they have thickness as b right and this cuboid has a face of b by b and it has height as a minus b right and this cuboid is similar to these two cuboids right yes so what we have got so if we can remove this set of cuboids volume of this set of cuboids and volume of this set of cuboids to find this cube which has dimension a minus b from the bigger cube of dimension a by a by a we have to remove all these volumes from that bigger cube so the volume of this cube that is a minus b cube can be written as a cube minus the volume of all these cubes and cubites so it is equal to a cube minus this what is this the small one is b cube right minus three cuboids of dimension a minus b by a minus b by b right so i'm going to write it as a minus b whole square b this also we have to subtract so let me remove this sub subtraction sign from here and I'll put a minus sign over here to make it more clear right and then we have to subtract three more volumes of these longer cuboids right the longer cuboids whose length is a minus b and face is a square of dimension b square right so this can be written as minus three times a minus b which is the length multiplied by b square this will be their volume right the volume of a cuboid is area of the face multiplied by the thickness so area of the faces over 
in these cases is a minus b multiplied by a minus b right in these three cases and they have thickness of b so their volume will be a minus b whole square the area of the face multiplied by the thickness which is b and the volume of these longer cuboids will be will again be the area of the face which is b square multiplied by the thickness which is a minus b right so we have reached here and now if we simplify this i think we will get the formula of a minus b whole cube so i'm copying this expression and then we are going to solve it so this was the expression which we were about to solve and if i solve it further this can be written as a cube minus b cube right and then from these two terms we can take minus 3 a minus b and b common and inside the bracket we will be left with one a minus b from here and one b from here right this is b square and this is b so we have taken one b common so we'll be left with one b from here and one a minus b from here because we have taken only one a minus b common so this will become a cube minus b cube minus 3 a minus b multiplied by this b and minus b plus b will give us 0 so we'll get one a over here right and if we write it properly it will be a cube minus b cube minus 3 a b if i write it in alphabetical order multiplied by a minus b and this is the formula of a minus b whole cube so for more such videos visit youtube channel math smart in next few videos i am going to explain the concept of a cube minus b cube and a cube plus b cube using geometry so bye bye till then